The 100 babies that could have been and could still be. What's up, everybody? I'm Kelsey, and I thought it'd be funny to have a baby with every townie that I can to see which of them produce the most attractive children. I've done multiple 100 baby challenges, but I've never made it a goal to have a baby with every single townie. We're gonna do it a little bit differently this time around. We're gonna make it a Kaz challenge, so it'll be less gameplay of seduction. If you're interested in that, go check out my 100 infant challenge. But today, we're just looking at what these kids will look like. So I've, of course, gotten our very favorite Sim of all time, Chelsea and Peachy Schmay, back at it. I'm going to give Chelsea a bit of a fancy girl makeover, make her absolutely as attractive as I think I can in order to see what these kids will look like. And then I will, in the beauty of create a Sim, create a genetic baby of the two parents. We're going to just start with Willow Springs, the very first world of The Sims for. If you guys like this video, we'll travel on to the next world. Let's quickly start with our Chelsea makeover. So Chelsea is a character that I've made for my 100 baby challenges. She's looking pretty adorable, I must say, but I think she can be a little better. I believe this is her 2022 makeover that I did. I feel like since then I've put a lot of custom content in my game and I would love to jazz it up a bit. I know custom content won't actually be that helpful in terms of DNA, but I like it anyway. Give her some beautiful lips. She got lip implants, this Chelsea. Oh, we could have do Kaylee and Peter Schmay. That would have been a move too. Kaylee's another sim that I have. A narrow button nose. There you go. Chelsea. I like the idea that her head is a little longer. Hey, she's starting to come together a bit. Give her like a bit more of that like siren eye look where the lids are kind of down more. Oh yeah. Look at her. She's looking snazzy. Why were her eyes so close together? I felt like they were very very close skin details. We're gonna remove these EA lashes. Be gone. I'm gonna give her some fancy lashes. Lashes are probably my favorite part to add. I don't know why. I just love a good lash. And then for hair, we're gonna do some nice long blonde hair. Something pretty. Perfect. Maybe we'll change up the brow because the brows feel like they're not the right color. They gotta be like a warmer. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. And we'll do some skin details. Ooh, yeah, I like V on her. She's looking cuties. Chelsea has been glammed. Look at this girl. I feel like she's got perfect DNA to begin this challenge. Okay, so first up, we have the BFF household. We got Liberty Lee. We got Summer Holiday and we got Travis Scott. I don't know if you can have a baby with the women, so we're gonna find this out. She can have babies with the women as well. So we're gonna start with Chelsea and Travis Scott and see how their child looks. All right, we're gonna randomize one, two, Three. Ba -da -da -da. We're gonna quickly give her a little makeover. This is Travis Jr. We got the blonde hair and braids. We might change up the blonde hair and braids to like a custom content option just to give her a little bit more interest. Okay, she's got some cute brows. I'm not gonna touch anything about her face. I'm just gonna change like what the brows are. Oh, she's got sad brows. They kind of slope down. I'm assuming that's Travis's brow shape because I don't think Chelsea was vibing that before. She kind of gives me hush puppy vibes. That like sad puppy kind of energy, but she's pretty cute. I like her lips. Those she definitely got from Chelsea. I'm going to delete you, Travis. Thank you for your services. Travis Jr. is looking, I would say she's pretty cute. She's decent. I would give her some decent clothes, a cute little fit, dress her up. I think she could be the belle of the ball. So yeah, 10 out of 10. I'm liking Travis Jr. Let's see how Liberty Lee Jr. is going to fare against Travis Jr. All right, Liberty Lee. One, two, three. Okay, the blonde prevails, but so do the freckles. Liberty, do you have freckles? Oh my gosh, Liberty does have freckles. Okay, that's cute. I love that our child has freckles. All right, so Liberty Lee. Okay, this child is like in the short hair vibe, so we're going to stick with the short hair look, but maybe something a little cuter. This one, be like that one. Nice. This character is definitely giving deer the headlights. The eyes feels very small and very close together, which is not my favorite. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the, this makeover is actually making under. I feel like I'm making this character look worse somehow, which was not my intention. Feels a little bit like I've accidentally done this. She's cute. I don't think she's cuter than Travis Jr. I think Travis Jr. is cuter than her. Despite the freckles, which I thought the freckles were really gonna bring it over the top. 
up. Just a really odd face shape. The features on Liberty look great, like her big eyes and her cute cheeks, but for some reason, the eyes are so close together, they just feel a little off for me. So yeah, not feeling Liberty Jr. All right, so that's Liberty Jr. Goodbye, Liberty Lee. Thank you for your contribution to our children and experiments. Back to Chelsea. Okay, Chelsea and Summer. I feel like they have a lot of similar DNA, so it's probably just gonna look a lot like Chelsea. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's not necessarily a good thing either. Okay, here we go. One, two, and a three. Okay, okay, all right. Let's get these sunglasses off so we can see your face. Wait, I think this might be the cutest Sim so far. I love freckles. I really want one of my Sims to have freckles and be really cute with them. I think this sim might be one of the cuter ones. Let's go to skin details. We're gonna add the V one on, which is the same as Chelsea. I don't even feel like I need to touch the brows. I think the brows are banging, but I'm gonna touch them anyway. Yeah, really good brow arch. Honestly, can't go wrong with it. Good lips, good amount of chin, good eye ratio. I think this is my top fave of the three children. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Although the one thing is like bean pole. This is giving bean pole energy. I think she might be the most attractive of the three. She's got a little bit more muscle on her though. I feel like this sim does not have as much muscle on her. She looking tiny. I don't know where she got that because Summer's tiny, but not that tiny. And Chelsea's got gorgeous curves. I like her ponytail as well. All right, 10 out of 10. If we only get blonde children, I'm gonna lose my mind. Next family, the pancakes. These look like they haven't been edited. So that's fabulous. We're gonna put them in my family. Okay, we got Bob. I feel like Bob and Chelsea have the chance of having beautiful children. I just really love a lot of Bob's features. I think he's a really cute Sim. I'm really hoping for this one, okay? I'm really hoping for you guys. All right, here we go. Here we go, Sims. Here we go. Oh no, maybe not, maybe not. Okay, we're gonna randomize once, twice. Oh, she was cute. I want to stop here. She's pretty. I want to stop here. I want to stop here. I should have stopped. I should have stopped. I'm going to realize it again. I don't want another blonde. <sighs> Still blonde. I'm going to keep going until it's not blonde. All right, we had that one perfectly adorable Sim though. I think this girl's got a lot of her dad's features. I like the hair though, the hair can stay. How low the lips are, it just looks like it's stretched right here. It's kind of odd. Maybe we can make this better, okay? Maybe, maybe. The brows are pretty decent. It's the eyes and the low mouth. I even like the nose. I think the prominent nose is cute. Let's grab your lashes off your face here. I'm gonna snatch those lashes. The way that her mouth is kind of reminds me of the evil stepsister in the second Cinderella when she's not so evil anymore. She's actually kind of a sweetie and then she falls in love with the baker. You know what I'm talking about? She looks like that girl. She just has this like low jaw that looks almost cartoonish to me. I'm uncomfortable. I don't love judging people on like how attractive they are because I think everyone's cute, but these are Sims. So they're not real people. I think I'm overthinking <laughs> this challenge. I'm like, I don't want to make you upset. It's literally a Sim. That I think feels like it's helping a little bit, the CC. Honestly, if the eyes were a little spaced out a bit, I would like it better. Also, she's got blue eyes. She's cute. There's just something, you know what? She's growing on me. Now that I'm looking at her from farther away, it's just something about the proportions of her face look like a little off, but the rest of her, perfect. 10 out of 10. All right, Bob Jr. Pancakes. Thank you so much for being here. So, so far, I still think that this girl is the most cutest. I think it's just because their DNA is so similar. Like I want a, a good Sim that looks like a good mix of the parents. You know what I mean? I think this is Summer Jr just so I can keep track of who had the baby with her. Okay, bye, Bob. Thank you so much for your contribution. We could have had a very beautiful child together, but it just wasn't meant to be. Let's DNA swap with our favorite Sim, Eliza Pancakes. Yeah, I am, of course, joking because I don't think Eliza Pancakes is anyone's favorite hey, Sim. Really? Okay. She's really cute. I don't want to randomize three times. She's cute. Okay. One, two. Oh, I want red hair. Three. She's really cute. Wait, this might be my new favorite. How did that happen? It's because the freckles, honestly. Does she have green eyes at least? Yeah, she kind of does. Okay, she kind of has green eyes. She's got Eliza's green eyes and freckles and she's got Chelsea's blonde hair and lips. I feel like this is pretty good. I think she's got Eliza's brow. I think this is gonna be a cute sim. Let me give her a little bit of a make hover. The brows are a little high on her face. She kind of just looks like, oh, but that's okay. That's all right. Maybe she just always is a little surprised and that's cute. 
I'm gonna give her the V, same as before. We're gonna give her some lash game here and remove the EA lashes. I think this is a pretty cute Sim. Is she cuter than this Sim? This Sim's pretty proportional. I would say yes. In my opinion, I do think she's cuter. The only thing I would change is her eyebrows, but she's cute. I like her. I like the little bangs. I like the little frecks. I love her cute body type, 10 out of 10. Good job. Honestly, Eliza did not expect it. Eliza Jr., I was hoping for red hair. Everyone is blonde except for Bob Pancakes Jr. And that's because I forcibly made us blonde. But regardless, Goodbye, pancakes. Your DNA was honestly surprisingly wonderful. We're gonna go into the Spencer Kim family. I believe this is what they all look like. So this is perfect. I cannot add them because it will exceed the number of people in my household. Of these first two groups, I'm gonna pick my favorites. I'm gonna... We've run out of space in the family to add these other Sims. Maybe I'll just look at them one at a time. Okay, so this is Alice Spencer Kim. This is the first of the Spencer Kim Lewis family. So we're gonna start with Alice. I love Alice's tattoo. I honestly think we could make some really cute babies. So we're gonna randomize once, twice, three times. This Sim looks like Kelsey again, or Chelsea again. Okay, I'm gonna randomize again. I'm gonna randomize one more time. I want the dark hair. Okay, all right, so I can work with this. This is a lot of accessories for this sim. Let's roll with it. I'm gonna keep the nose ring because I find it kind of interesting. I'm gonna bail on the glasses and the hat. Another hair. I guess we'll do long since the sim seems to like long hair. She had bangs, so let's keep with the bangs. This one, I love that one. It kind of hides the really awkward eyebrows. I'm gonna go with these. This could be my new favorite sim, the blue eyes. She's got Chelsea's blue eyes. We're gonna give her the same skin details as Chelsea. We're gonna go with V, cause it's just real simple and some lashes. I wanna say that this sim is our prettiest sim so far. Look at her versus Eliza Jr. Eliza Jr. is really cute too. We're starting to get to some cute sims. Now, did I forcibly make Alice Jr.? I did kind of force Alice Jr. to be kind of cute, but that's just because we were looking for dark hair. I think otherwise, she's just such a cute sim. I think she has a lot of Chelsea's features, but I really, I think she has her mom's nose. I don't know. I think she actually has a lot of, I don't know whose features she has the most. You have to tell me in the chat. Am I just obsessed with every sim that kind of looks mostly like Chelsea? I don't know. But Alice Spencer Kim, thank you so much for mothering this child. I think she's a beauty. She might be one of my faves. Body wise, she's skinny mini, but there's nothing wrong with being a skinny mini. Dennis Kim. Oh no, we've run out of room. Okay, we're gonna have to knock out some Sims here. I love you all. I don't wanna knock out any Sims. I'm gonna save you into my library. So that way I can now look back at them whenever I wish. So I'm gonna delete all but my current favorite. I think my favorite right now is Alice Jr. So let's add Dennis Kim to our inventory. All right, Dennis Kim, will you make me some beautiful children. I think it's interesting that their kids can get his silver hair, despite the fact that that's obviously not his real hair color. It's just cause he's older. One, two, three. I love this blonde to silver move. She's frowning. She's like, you're not my real mom. These are angry eyebrows if you put those on. I'm gonna go with these. I love her eye shape. I think her eye shape is really beautiful. She's got the blue eyes from Chelsea. Just simple lashes for this little bean here. I love her round face though. I really love the round face. It's the frown in the no chin that are really throwing me off. But otherwise I think she's really cute. But honestly, when she smiles, it's really cute too. I think that she's a cute Sim. Dennis Kim, I was not expecting it, but Dennis Jr. is a pretty cute Sim. I like it. Dennis, goodbye. Thank you for your DNA. It's so interesting because this is his daughter. I definitely think Alice got better genes. I'm just gonna say that right now. Let's get Olivia, Olivia Kim Lewis. What does she look like? Oh, is Olivia Kim Lewis like the little kid? Yeah, Olivia's Kim Lewis is a child. That didn't occur to me. So we're not having a baby with Olivia Kim Lewis. We're gonna move right along. Here's Eric Lewis. He's a good looking man. He's got some good bone structure. This could be a great sim. Here we go, Eric Lewis. Are right, we gonna randomize one? We're gonna randomize two. Okay, we're gonna randomize three. Give me something good. Okay, a blonde with blue eyes. She might be stunning. Again, there's like quite a frown on this face, which is interesting because I don't think her dad has a frown. Okay, no, he does. He definitely does have a frown. He doesn't look like he frowns. 
Hers looks a little more, I think it's maybe the mustache hides some of it. The eyes and the brow, she just kind of looks unhappy, which is sad. I want this girl to be happy. She looks disappointed in me. I don't really blame her. I'm a little disappointed in me too. I feel like this was such a weird choice for a video. I will continue on, I'm so curious. Okay, who makes the best kid? We're gonna find out. Skin details, we're gonna take off the lashes, give her some better lashes. And then we're also gonna give the V. I'm gonna change the hair. It's kind of giving bowl cut in the worst way, but I'm down for some short hair. So let's see if we can get something that's like a little bit cuter on her. She's really pretty. It's the frown that's like getting me. It looks almost comical. It just doesn't look like it fits her face. Her face is just like a little small. She has a small chin and she has very, very large, beautiful lips that are just permanently frowning. I think she had something like this. So I'm gonna give her this. She's so beautiful, but it's it's the frown. It's the frown is throwing me off. Am I wrong? Am I right? I like it better when I'm zoomed out, but I just feel like her lips take up so much of her face because her jaw is so small. His jaw is like a normal size. So his like lips and his mouth are like a good proportion to his face. Whereas on Chelsea's like narrower jaw, it's a lot going on on such a small little chin there. Otherwise, I think she could be a front runner. She is very beautiful. I hate just pointing out flaws. This is so uncomfortable. Why did I think this would be a great video idea? I was like, this is what I wanna do. But I'm just so curious. We're doing it for science. We're doing it for science. Next up is Vivian Lewis who's Eric's mom. I'm not as familiar with this family. I know they have a different family dynamic because there's a divorce and then a remarriage and then a new child. They live with Alice's dad and Eric's mom, a less nuclear family option, which I think is really great. Vivian and Chelsea. What kind of kid would Vivian and Chelsea have? One, okay, we're going two, okay, and we're going three. A young Vivian. I love it. Oh, she is so cute. I honestly really like the short curly silver hair. So I'm going to keep that. I'm going to give her a bit of a different brow. Okay, perfect. She really does just look like a young Vivian. I love, love, love the Frex. Give me those freckles, baby. She is so pretty. Ah, she's so pretty. Okay, 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 okay. She just has the most cherubic face and these beautiful doe eyes. Vivian came through. Look at her. I mean, Vivian does have beautiful doe eyes. Vivian Jr. is my favorite child. Don't tell Alice Jr. Oh, Vivian Jr. is my new favorite. Okay, delete goodbye. Thank you for your jeans. They were perfect. I want to give her like a better outfit. Honestly, she deserves it. Ooh, oh my God. Ba-boom, okay, go off. She's uh, packing some, packing some, uh, was not expecting it. Maybe we'll give her like a cute little dress because she's got like a skirt and shirt vibe going. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I want to give her a makeover and everything, but we have to continue. Let's add more Sims. So the next family and the last family is the goth family. That's the original one. I feel like this is the updated one. I'm going to save these Sims to the gallery. I'm going to go grab the goth family from the world and combine them. So I'm going to have to move some Sims out. I'm sorry. You two have got to go. All right, back in. So Chelsea, is here, okay? And so is the goth family, and so are her two children, Vivian Jr. Lewis and Alice Jr. Lewis. Here we go. We got Bella Goth and Chelsea and Peach Ishmael. Oh, also oh, Alexander and Cassandra are both kids. So I'm gonna say no. Let's make a baby. I'm gonna do Alexander first only because I'm way more curious about Bella and her child because I think the child's gonna be really beautiful. So I want that to be the last child that we do. So here we go. We got one randomization. We got two randomizations and we got three randomizations. Oh. Mortimer Goth has the most narrow little nose. I did not realize his nose was like that. He's got a really thin, wide smile. Oh no. You know what? She looks a lot like Alexander. I love the curly hair. Let's keep that up. The brows are also really good. Actually, you know what? I think she's pretty cute. At first it was very jarring, but I think now that I'm looking at her a little closer up, I think she's pretty cute. Is she my favorite? No, she's not bad. She's not bad. Give her a little lashes. You're Mortimer Goth Jr. I really thought I was going to expect more. Not your best work, I don't think, Mortimer Goth. 
Let's do the final person in this neighborhood. I'm excited. It's Chelsea and Bella Goth, the mystery, the legend. I actually have dressed up as Bella Goth once for Halloween. It was a while ago, but she's always been one of my favorites. Absolutely beautiful sim. These sims are gonna be gorgeous. Okay, one. Okay, two. Okay, three. Give me that dark hair. I don't want another blonde. Why are the blonde jeans so, so prevalent? I'm gonna go again. I can't tell if she's blonde. I think she is because of the brows. Okay, one more time, one more time, one more time, one more time. I can't keep doing this. Can't keep getting away with this. Okay, perfect, she, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, I'm not a fan of the buns. I'm sorry. I'm gonna change your hair, girly girl. I'm gonna be like this kind of slicked and curled vibe. Yeah, I love that. Brows, we can do this. Okay, I feel like she's gonna be a stunner. I think she's gonna be really pretty. She's got those blue eyes and the dark hair. I just feel like she's really gonna blow us away once I get those lashes on her. I think she's gonna be the it girl. She's got such a wide smile. Sometimes it reminds me of the Joker when the Sim smiled. Let's just keep going. You're like, let me tell you about those scars. I'm like, okay. So this is Bella Jr. and Peter Schmay. I think she's very pretty. I think this Sim is pretty gorgeous. A lot prettier than Mortimer Goth Jr. I'm sorry to say. Bella Goth Jr.'s just, she's a gorgeous woman. But I still feel like Vivian Jr. and Alice Jr. are probably two of my favorites. And I love how I just slowly was like, no more blondes. So thank you, Bella Goth, for being here. Out of all of the children, I think my top three would have to be Alice Jr. She's just so cute. I love her that she got randomized with a little nose ring. I kept that. I was like, ooh, I love the personality. I love Vivian Jr. I think the freckles and the silver curled short cropped hair. She really does have like a perfect sim face. I'm not gonna lie. And then we have Bella Jr. and Peter Schmay. I am just docking points because of her really, really wide smile. With my sims, I tend to, to not have their smiles go like all the way to here. It just is like, maybe my smile is wide. I don't know. No, maybe it's maybe it's a me thing. But these Sims turned out so cute. You. Which sim combination was your favorite? Comment that down below. And let me know if you would like to see all of the townies of another world in the comments as well. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this weird and wild experiment. I hope you enjoyed it. I know that I did and I'll check you out in the next one. Bye.